Good morning. A friend of mine just called me up and asked me if I knew how to resize pictures. He just got one of those new LCD picture frames for Christmas. He wants to put on as many pictures as he can. Um, so I figured I'd do a video to quickly show you how you can quickly and easily resize pictures, especially for something like viewing on a, a computer. In this case, we have a there's a, there's about five pictures here that are you know anywhere between five and ten meg each first thing you want to do is if you hit control a on your keyboard that will highlight all the all of the pictures together you can also use your mouse but it's just easier to use your keyboard to do that once you do that if you right click on the pictures and if you go down to where it says send to and if you go over and if you choose mail recipient and click, you'll get a pop-up that actually says attach files and it gives you a picture size. Now, there's a bunch of different options. You can make it either smaller or larger depending on what you're doing, but especially for viewing on a computer screen, uh, 1024 by 768 is probably fine. If you wanna go a little bit larger, you can go 1280 by 1024. Uh, you'll notice the total estimated size is 1.87. So this is going to be a huge difference from where we started. Click attach. And you're going to see an email is going to pop up. Now we're not actually going to email these. We just use the program in order to resize it. So now that I've done that, if I left click my mouse, I can highlight all of these. This way I don't have to detach them at once. This way I'm going to detach them all. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose copy. Now, just so you can see the difference, we'll create a new folder here on my desktop that I'm going to paste them into. I'm going to right click within the new folder and I'm going to choose paste. Now look at the difference with these picture sizes. So now we've gone from, we had like almost 30 megs worth of pictures um, to much smaller sizes and the quality for viewing on a picture screen is still pretty good. If I compare that to the original picture, it, it looks virtually the same. If you were trying to print it, you wouldn't really be able to do that. Then you want as big of a file as you can because the megapixel is going to make a difference when you print. But from viewing on a screen, this works out great. Anyway, I hope that helped you out. Uh, good luck. Have a good day.